Hello and welcome to part 6 of the Industries DLC tutorial. Not enough buyers, not enough resources. My industry is broken, how do I fix it? You know, this is a tough one and it's something I see actually very often on um, Reddit and other forums that I kind of participate in. And people just kind of struggle with this and we're going to go through, I think, 6 potential problems that could be causing your DLC to have all these symbols on it. Like I said, the not enough buyers or um, not enough resources. So it's going to be a little long. I think what I'll try and do is hopefully I'll be able to post something up on the screen showing up here shortly that'll kind of give you like the timestamps for all these, you know, each kind of different little subject. And that way, if you say, well, you know, I don't want to watch the whole entire 30 or 40 minute video, whatever this turns out to be. Maybe I think it's gonna. This is my big problem. You can just kind of like you know skim, skim through and find that spot. Check that out. See what you think, and then try it in your city and see if it fixes it. All right. Without further ado, let's get ready and get started here. So the first thing that can cause an issue with your industry's DLC. Let's go ahead and get started here. Is what I call synchronizing your industry's DLC, and that mainly involves I put everything down while the game was paused and then I started the, the simulation and everything started at, at ground zero or at zero. So when you go into one of these assets, right, this is an extractor, the small crop, crop field. You look down below the bottom of the, that pie chart where it gives you like all your employees. You have where it says crops and this one is zero of two, 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 right? This one's 55 of two, two, two. This one's 44, 59. 73 and so on and so forth because mine are what's called or I would say mine's called staggered or desynchronized What happens if you put all your stuff down and especially your even your processors anything really? They'll all be set to zero and they'll all you know churn away and you know grow things this, this crop field will produce something and it'll grow and grow and grow and once it hits 80 It'll release a truck into the world and then of course if you put down you know like I have maybe 20 small crops or maybe 10 you know large crops and whatever the pastures and all that stuff what's going to happen once they all hit 80 they're all going to release a truck into the world it's going to clog up your roads and it's going to send all the stuff to your storage units or with the processors your warehouses and that's going to cause large fluctuations in your storage or warehouse numbers so when you look at your your small grain silos that i'm using here Maybe you're using the large one or the large, you know, barn or whatever it is in your farming area, and you'll see it's set to balance. So if it's set to balance, it's going to operate between 40 and 60, and trying to maintain that. If it goes below 40, it's going to try and import. If it goes above 60, it's going to try and export to get it back down. You're going to have, you're going to struggle with this if you don't stagger or desynchronize, or like I said, if you don't, you know. Put them down one at a time, or at least if you put them all down at the same time when the game is paused, turn them off. You know, go in here and on the place you triangle, turn them all off, and then let one run for a little bit, and then kind of just turn them on. Boom! Wait, you know, count five seconds, or actually look at the numbers, and turn you know hit triangle, turn them back on, and get them staggered. Because what happens is when they're not staggered, like I said, they all release trucks. They're all going to try and cram stuff into here. You're gonna, your resource is gonna jump up real high, right? Especially if you have a lot of these things and you don't have a lot of storage, it's gonna boost up real high. The storage unit's gonna panic and go, oh my God, you just, I went from 40 to 80 because you just released 20 trucks in, at me delivering 80 tons a piece, right? And now, oh my God, I gotta start exporting and it's gonna start exporting instead of delivering stuff to your, your processing units. And that's gonna start causing some symbols because now these guys are, they'll just drive right past He's in panic mode, and then these guys will be like, oh, hey, where's my stuff? And he's like, well, I can't give you stuff because I'm too busy trying to send all my trucks to export because I just got everything from, from all the extractors all at once. And then the vice versa could happen. You know, it does that, or maybe it does deliver to your processors. All the trucks evaporate, and they go back to their extractors and wait for the next round of 80 to appear. And maybe your processors call for stuff all at the same time, and then all of a sudden your storage drops below 40. You start importing, and maybe those imports come in it takes time to import stuff, and then at the same time as those imports are about to hit, these things shoot out some more trucks, right? And then now it's sort of like compounding, and now your storage fills up all the way. Or you, you can see how it kind of compounds. So desynchronize your industry. Look at all your stuff, all your processors, 
or on the right where it says animal products, make sure it says different numbers. You know, 73 of 161, 19, right? 81, 5. You, you, you think, and in a perfect world, if you had two, one would be at zero and the other one would be at 40. But, you know, as you as it grows and you put more and more stuff down, obviously you're going to have some that overlap and some that are out of sync naturally just because of like this random happens chance. But just do your best, especially when you first start. Maybe you don't have as many things down or, or, or as many things running. And then as you kind of put more down, you, know, you just realize, yeah, it's gonna I'm going to have a couple that do, you know, sync up and overlap. But if it's just two or three out of like 20, then you're killing it. If you know, if you just don't want all 20 operate at the same time, or all 10 operating at the same time, you want, you know, maybe two or three operating close, and, and maybe the other two and three operating kind of close to each other, but they're far apart as from the from the other groups, we'll say. So that's one. You you synchronize your industry. It releases a bunch of trucks into the world at once. It causes wild gyrations or very large fluctuations in your storage, which then messes up your storage it can go in panic mode start exporting can bypass your processors and just throws your whole thing out of whack as well as generates a bunch of traffic that you don't need to worry about you know i have this i got what a hundred and six thousand people and you know i'm supplying my whole city and maybe exporting a little bit this one's exporting and this is all built on dirt roads no traffic you know everything's kind of kubaya all my factories are running at 125 to 150 percent so you know you can, it's 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 definitely you know doable here. All right, so that's step that's the first one. Let's go into the second one. It's going to be probably the most common one outside of I put everything down while the game's paused and then turn it all on because I wanted to build it while the game was running. It's in combination with this, which could be catastrophic. This by itself is catastrophic, but if you do it while the game's paused, it's even more catastrophic. It's what I call over extraction which could be viewed as also under storage, we'll say. You put down way too many extractors for the amount of storage you have or the amount of processors you have to consume it. And I see this a lot, and it's mainly from the, the folks that are trying to build their DLC on looks versus function. Um, and then they will say, yeah, I want to put down, you know, 10 large crops and, you know, 10 large... I just saw it yet today. I actually saw a person had one of these literally one of these okay and they had the other mines the big mines they had 20 of them and they had one of these and they had the symbols everywhere everywhere we're going to go into why you have the symbols everywhere and they're like my storage is full and i have it set to empty and it's full well yeah of course you put down like 20 large mines and you have one rinky dink sand storage yeah that's what's going to happen and they had like i think they had literally like two of the the small guys for this, the grinding mills in two of the small fa glass factories. And it's like, now nah, you're, you know, you need, you need two mines. One of those probably just, we need one of the larger ones. Okay. So what happens when you put down too much extractors? So we'll go through this now. This is going to take a little bit of time. So buckle up, grab a sandwich, get a drink. If you're still hanging in, so this is going to take a little while to explain, but I'm going to explain it very clearly, very concisely very detailed so that you understand what you're doing or what's happening in your city so you can fix it. So you put down too many extractors. They, once again, they produce stuff. And you don't have enough stores. So they all come, you know, like I said, once they hit 80, this is as 0 of 222, but once they hit 80, so we can even watch this one right here. Let's see what he's doing. It's 80. He sends out a truck. You see that? This truck right here. Mr. Red. He come out here, and he's going to go and he's going to deliver to the storage unit right here. As he just should. As we want him to. And then once he, and he'll come back and he'll do his thing. And what will happen is if you have too many extractors, they'll start filling this thing up. And this one's, if this was my only storage unit, or if all my storage units look like this, I would be panicking. I would be sweating and almost crying because I know my industry is about to be destructed. It's going to self-implode in a matter of minutes, actually. So what's happening with this storage unit in particular? You see it's set to balance. Like I said, it's supposed to be 40 to 60. It's at 69%. It's got 12 of 12 trucks. I guarantee you, and we're going to show it right now, that this thing is exporting. And we'll go into this menu here and export. And you see he's highlighting. And he is exporting. 
And if this was the only one, I would be in deep, deep trouble. Because what's going to happen? So once he gets over 60, he says, Hey, Mayor, my, the mayor told me to stay between 40 and 60. I'm over 60. I'm going to start exporting. And they'll send a truck out in the world. And they'll send one, maybe two trucks, and they'll drive. And depending on how you have your thing set up, they may drive forever. You may never see that truck again. It could be gone. It might just fall off the end of the earth because the earth is flat. It might just fall off until Leviathan eats them up and gobbles them up. And they're gone forever. Okay? They go to the next town over. That next town is a, a light year away and we're, we're, we don't even have warp capability yet. Okay? And he's going to go. And then you have more extractors. And they're going to keep piling this thing up. And he's going to go, oh, geez, I'm still at 60. Oh, I'm at 70. Oh, I'm at 80. And these people keep filling me up. Let me send out all more, tr more and more trucks. More and more trucks. All the trucks to all the trucks are in use. Just like this one. They're all gone. Driving all over the world. Wondering what they're doing. Sending to the next town. I'm export. And he's just like, I need to empty out my stuff right now. And get this thing back to 60. I'm sending out all the trucks. Okay, I hope you're, you're, you're with me so far. Then what happens? Your processors. So like the small animal pasture. They need stuff. When he hits, you see on the left, under the, the pie chart, it says crops. 123 of 181. As soon as that hits about 80, he makes a phone call. Hey, city. Really, anywhere in the world, really. Hey, anybody have more crops for me? I'm trying to make animal products, and I'm running, you know, I'm getting close to running out of crops. And in a, in a perfect world, when your storage units are working quick, well, he says, yeah, I got plenty. And he'll send a truck here. And that's kumbaya stasis. Everything's happy. And the key note here, you must, oh, I always recommend, always assume the extractors do not deliver to the processors. Ever. <laughs> if you do that and build your DLC that way, it will not fail. <laughs> I will guarantee that. If you just understand that this thing will not deliver directly to this thing. He delivers to the storage, the storage goes to here. And then he goes to the warehouse. And then the warehouse goes to the unique factory or... And of course, generic industry can take any part of the process as well as your unique factories will take crops in this case, but will mostly take warehouse goods. And then you can ex export and import anytime in the process. So always assume that this is and this don't connect. This has to go through this guy, he's the middleman first. Because the thing is, when he's at 80 and ready to release a, 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 a truck, he's not at 80 making the phone call. And he's not saying, yeah, I have stuff. He's at 78. He's like, I, I'm not, not yet ready yet. And he's like, okay, I'm going to call somebody else. So when he's at 80 of crops, right, he's going to make a phone call. I need more crops, please. And then your storage unit, because you put down too many extractors, is full. And he's like, nobody, I can't help you. I'm, all my trucks are out, busy, all over the world. I lost track of them. Some of them fell off the earth, got gobbled up by the three-headed monster. I don't know where they are. Um, you're, you're SOL. And he goes, okay, let me call somebody else. And then he, guess who picks up? The town next door. And the town next door goes, yeah, hey, hey, what's up, uh, animal pasture? You need some crops? Yeah, we have crops. We actually have a ton of crops. Uh, your city's dropping them off at our doorstep, and we can't store them <laughs> either. So you, it's, it, you want us to bring them back to you? And the processor's like, well, that's weird. Um, yeah, I do want you to bring it back to me. I need them. Uh, it's weird that my city's sending you crops and you're just sending them back, but that's what I need. And they're like, well, you know, and in my other video, it was, it was, it was Los Ricos. La Carisco's goes, well, you know, we need your money, so we'll definitely send them to you. And they go, okay, I'm ready. And then what happens is the truck comes from Las Vegas, San Cruz, Los Ricos, whoever, and it drives on the highway and it takes forever to get here. And he goes and chomps through his crops and goes to zero and then you get not enough resource and he gets a symbol and there now we're at not enough resource he filled up he can't make the delivery to here he goes to import the imports take too long he he, he um, gets a symbol okay so that, that's where we're at right now so you take your get your notepad out and write that down <laughs> so the next part and then you may see this guy gets a truck back and you'll go oh he's got trucks back and then these guys have symbols. And you'll be like, oh, well, they're going to deliver here. Eh, nice try. Not going to happen. You know why? Because when these people hit 80, they made the phone call already. So you got to realize this. They're not going to get stuff from here when they have no when they have the symbol. Because at 80, they made the phone call. 
And they called him at 80, and he wasn't ready. And then at 80, like I said, of the crops for the for the pasture, he he got a hold of Los Ricos, and Los Ricos said, yeah, I'm going to bring you some stuff. And then he, the phone call is answered. So the, the delivery is made, so to speak. You can't break the contract anymore. So it's not like Los Ricos gets halfway here, and then like your, 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 your now empty truck that was droving all over the world to export comes back, and like now he's at 11 of 12. He's not going to go, oh, I have a truck now. Let me send it to this guy because he's he needs like a symbol. He's a symbol and he needs stuff. He's going to be like, nah, buddy, you can keep your truck because uh, Las Ricos is bringing me my stuff. And then he's like, okay, nobody needs stuff because all these things have symbols, but they've all been answered from the, they're all importing. And then he just goes, all right, I'm going to export again. And then he just sends more trucks out. And you get caught, you get caught what I call an import cycle. The, all your processors start importing because your storage is all exporting. And then once the import call is answered, once they answer, once they answer the phone and they say, yeah, give me some stuff from the outside town, then he's not gonna come here and, and deliver here again. The only way he's gonna make a delivery again is if he's available to do so and when he makes the call at 80 of the crops in this case. Okay, so you gotta understand that too. They'll just drive right past each other. I've seen it tons and tons of times. And that's how you get the symbols everywhere. And then what happens here? So this guy, so how do you get the not enough buyers? So your extractors are extracting, they're, they're going to 80 and they need to release the truck and they do. And normally they go here and they drop it off, but he's at hundred. Okay. Because you have too many extractors. He's out exporting. All his trucks are exporting. Like I say, I keep saying, so he's not keeping up with the pace that these guys are delivering because they're just driving from here to here. He's driving from here to who knows. Right. So now his ability, like before he might've been keeping up somewhat because he just drove from here to here, but now he started exporting. So those trucks are just all over to God's creation doing who knows what. So now he's falling way, way behind and he hits the, the he, his, his crops burst at the seam. They're flowing out the top and he's like, Oh Jesus, it's raining crops. And these guys are like, and he's like, well, I can't even accept any more crops. So he's just like, okay, well I can't deliver to here. So what am I supposed to do? And he's going to export as well. So then your extractor goes into export mode. And this is like total catastrophic failure. So when this goes into export mode, things are dire. When this thing goes into export mode, things are catastrophic. Uh, about to break. So he goes, and you'll, what you'll see, instead of one of, out of five trucks being used, because his truck is probably this truck right here. It's probably this truck about to leave right here as <laughs> his truck he's good one out of five is fine but once you start seeing two three four five out of five trucks you see five out of five trucks on your process or your extractor you need to do something now because those things are all over the world and then what happens is it'll go past 80 because all the trucks are being used so no more trucks can like empty out the, this facility and they'll just keep going and going and going and then it'll hit 222 and at 222 the farm field is full of too many wheat bales and they can't grow any more wheat, <laughs> basically. And then they shut down. It's not safe to work there anymore. They shut down, they say not enough buyers. All the trucks, like I said, are being used to export. Your extractor is very, very much missing them and it hits the 222 and you're done. So now you have a symbol here, not enough buyers. Until the, until the truck comes back and then what, the, what will happen is your truck will come back and he'll go back out to export and he'll just keep exporting. And then these two p guys will be in export mode. These two, this guy will be in import mode and it will stay that way forever until you just decide to throw your computer or PlayStation Xbox out the window and it will never fix itself. Guarantee money back. These will all be symbols, not enough resources because they're waiting on exports. These will all be, um, not enough buyers because they're exporting. These are importing. I don't know if I said exporting a second ago. They'll be importing and it's taking too long. These will all be exporting because they the, the storage is full, so they can't go anywhere locally. They're all exporting. They have not enough buyers, all the trucks. And then these guys will be all full. And you'll be like, oh, it's too full. So that's how you get all the symbols. That's just taking a long time. So I might have to break this up in some more pieces, maybe a part two. Or just hangs tight and fast forward to the next piece. So how do you fix that? 
Oh, jeez. When it's that bad, it's hard. I've never had it that bad, thank God. Um, but I've had a few, you know, my earlier, earlier days. I mean, the first thing you could do is put down more storage. You know, if the problem's in here. That'll give you more trucks, and it gives you more ability to absorb more extracted material. And that might be the solution. I will just point out that my industry DLC is running pretty smooth with at 125 to 150% output on all my unique, all unique factories are down and I'm running it with three small silos and three small crude oil tanks and you know, one medium warehouse for each process material. And I just say that not because like I'm the greatest ever who made industries DLC. Although I would say I'm pretty good at it, but there's probably plenty of people that are just as good at it, if not better. But I'm just pointing that out because you don't need like a lot of storage to make this successful. So having like 10 like large silos will work, but it just might be a little overkill, you know, cost a little extra money, it might generate a little bit more traffic because now, you know, maybe they're sending out more trucks or whatever. But hey, if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. I'm not going to discourage you for putting down more uh, storage. But I'm just saying it can be done with, we'll say, relatively small amount of storage, if you balance it correctly. So that's one thing, add more storage. And then, of course, the inverse or converse of that is to just turn off some of your extractors. Turn off all of them until your storage actually catches up and then turn some more back on. As you start seeing it go down, you know, and like your, your trucks are coming back, start turning them back on. You know, one at a time or a couple, of, you know, if I had 20 and I was getting all the symbols, turn off like half. Let you know the other half kind of come back, and then it might work its way out. And then, as you, then just watch your storage. And if you start seeing, you know, it's going down, 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 down below 40, and maybe start an import and turn some more extractors back on. If you watch it and it's like you know it's starting to kind of seem like it's level in between the 40 and 60, well then maybe you've hit like pretty much the right number, and you just got to kind of dial it in by turning one or, or or two on or one or two off. You can kind of play with it and see, just kind of monitor it once in a while. Uh, so that could be a, a solution. You just have too many extractors on uh, another so and the, the easiest solution is to just blow up your storage units just blow them up completely destroy them like this one here just blow it up and put a new one down because that gives you all your trucks back it empties it out so now your your extractors have a place to go so then you, they will not have the not enough fires anymore and then you'll get all your trucks back but once again if you just blow up the storage unit you'll be a back at square one if you don't do something else so like if you blew up these storage units then add it like another couple that would work or if you blew up the storage unit and then you know turned off some extractors because like uh, maybe you put three too many down or something then you watched how it filled up and how it reacted you know you could do that too uh, let me think anything else you could do because you can't put down more processors that's definitely not going to be the answer one your processors might be okay might have been okay between like your warehouses and your processing units and then your warehouses and your unique factories that that part of the supply chain might have been fine so then like adding more could mess you up over here in your warehouses um, also if you have the problem here they're you know they're not gonna when they make the phone call like i need more stuff these guys are going to be still import or exporting so they're just going to import and you're just going to have another one with the simple one so adding like the processors is going to really help you i think that's it so you can destroy your storage is like i said the easiest and add more because that gets you all your trucks back and gets you back to zero kind of resets it you can turn off and and in conjunction so this is like an and or kind of thing and or turn off some extractors because you're over extracting um or and that's it that's about it so or add more storage i think that's it Ooh, that was long sorry guys all right number three so number three is going to be overproduction, not enough warehouses. So it's kind of like the same thing here, but maybe you put down too many processors. And, you know, same exact thing. So this will be a little bit quicker. You know, same thing with these the storage units, the warehouses. If you put too many, you know, we put too many animal pastures down or too many oil pumps or nap, napta crack plants, whatever you want to call them, um, you know, flour mills. Then what happens is the same thing here. You know, these things fill up. Once they get past 60, they start exporting. Once they go into export mode, they're not going to make local deliveries. So you're going to start seeing symbols on your unique factories because they're they're asking for, you know, the processed material. And it's, you know, these guys are too busy exporting to, you know, provide local service. Uh, and then these guys won't have, uh, once they kind of fill up, then 
your processors won't be able to um, deliver to here anymore. So then they'll have to deliver directly to here, but then that doesn't line up because when they're ready to deliver and they're, they're ready, ready to receive, they're not necessarily, you know, like I said, just like I said, assume that these don't deliver to here, assume that these don't deliver directly to here. I mean, it can't happen, like I said, but if you make the assumption that it all comes from the warehouses and build it that way, then it's like gonna be more bulletproof. So just do that. Um, so what that happens is these are gonna, are gonna then export. And then if you they export, you're gonna have five out of five trucks drive, you know, driving all over the world, and then they're gonna have the not enough buyers. So you'll see not enough buyers on the processors if you have too many processors or vice versa, not enough warehouses to buffer. And then these guys are exporting and you see all five of five trucks moving, then you're in trouble. And then to fix that, I mean, you can dial back. See, this is where it gets really difficult. So it's easier to fix over extraction because that's the source, so to speak. But when you fix like the over production, so over processing, over production, you're like in the middle of the supply chain. So you may have balanced it from extractor to storage unit to processor, or processor to warehouse to like unique factory slash your industry. You know what I'm saying? Is is it's broken? It's not balanced. So like turning some of these off, which is probably the right solution, is going to be a difficult solution because you know then you may fill this thing up and then you might go into the the first you know problem number two <laughs> you have technically over extraction for the number of processors you have because you turned some off where before it was balanced you can add more warehouses so that will work um you know and and, and maybe try that first try that maybe just turn one off see how it works you know you can kind of mess with with that but that's what the problem is this thing produces too much stuff it fills up the warehouses. The warehouses go into export mode. They no longer serve your local area. Then these things are forced to then export because they can't go just here and back. They go here and into Los Ricos, which is who knows where. I never, I don't know where Los Ricos is. It's somewhere way, way far away. And then they're all gone. And then they fill up because there's no way. Because once again, just like the extractors on the animal products, you see 36 of 161 once it hits 80 it releases a truck to deliver to the warehouse or you know wherever if that truck ain't here because all five are in use it'll go and run to 161 once it gets to 161 they say it's too many a animals piled up <laughs> too many animal products piled up on the pasture we can't we can't work here no more we got to shut her down and then you get not enough um and then that could then cripple back to here because then so then that i guess you would get not enough buyers here and also not enough buyers here because then these will stop uh per chomping on your crops right so then they'll say we don't need crops anymore because we're not producing anymore because we can't all our trucks are driving all over the world to try and get rid of the animal products that we've made already and then he'll start filling up because he's no longer making deliveries from here to here and then once he's it's because then so then he'll just start exporting and then now you're in like ex the, now you're in like two and one and and this one so you have, now you have both problems because then he's going to, this will fill up and then he'll go into not enough buyers as well. So I guess if you have not enough buyers here and not enough buyers in your production, so not enough buyers in extraction and production, the problem's probably bully your warehouses, your relationship between your warehouses and your uh, processors. That makes sense? Hopefully that makes sense. All right. And to fix it, add more warehouses or reduce the number of processors. But just keep in mind that reducing the processors also affects your extraction and your storage. Okay. So that's that one. You guys are worth, you got, you're getting your money's worth today. All right, number four. Poor connectivity slash railways clogged. So a lot of this can be resolved if you just have good connectivity to export and import. You can build, we'll say, an imperfect or we'll say a non-optimized um, DLC as long as you have like see I have a cargo station here and people are using it so then like you know if something's wrong with so then the warehouses if they want to export they just drive here on this night you know through a nice local roundabout it's on these highway roads and they just go here and drop them off and they come back you know if these the guys need to export because maybe whatever reason there's the warehouses are full or they're getting full or, or whatever reason they need to export they just drive over here and they just drop it off and they come back. 
Same thing with the storage. You know, this guy's fine. Even though he's using 12 or 12 trucks, you know, these guys are just doing just fine. He's at 50 and using one truck, and he's at 50 using zero trucks. So, like, there's no problems. Like, I don't have problems. In it. You know, I have a bunch of symbols. Yeah, because he can just, like, go here and come back. It's like right there. Yeah, same thing. If they need to export, they just go right there and come back. Same thing with uniques. They can just come here and come back. So have good, have, you know, good connectivity. Have a, a rail station or, or, or some kind of, you know, air you know, cargo, some kind of cargo something near your industry's DLC area. Whatever it may be. Don't just rely on the highway. If you rely on the highway, you're uh, you're probably doomed for failure at some point. Because they got to drive to Timbuktu and Timbuktu is too far. That way, you know, once again, they just drive here back. You want to minimize. So the goal to run a successful industry's DLC is to minimize the time the trucks have the stuff. This, these trucks, these trucks, these trucks, these trucks, any of the trucks. <laughs> Minimize the time these trucks have the stuff when they're driving. That's the, really the name of the game. If you can do that, you'll run. You'll be fine. You can overproduce. You can over over process, process. You know, produce more processed goods. You can extract more stuff. You can over produce. You know, like I'm doing here at 125 and stuff like that. You'd be, you'd be pretty much gold, good to go. Because who cares? Once it's on the rail, it's fine. You're not using the trucks anymore. They come back. And then, you know, keep in mind that you need to connect this to the outside world. So this needs to be able to import and export as well as to your, your you know, generic industry. You know, you don't want, like, this truck here to, ex you know, to meet the call or this truck, you know, this truck here to meet the call and have to drive all the way through all this highway mess and all the way down these roads and mingle through here and get lost in traffic to deliver to like this store over here and only have to drive back and do all this mingling and coming back and driving all the way through here to get back here. It just takes too long. You want him to just drive right here. And then he goes and then he comes right back. And then the train goes choo-choo right in here and then and then these trucks can drive all over the place. Let the cargo trucks drive all over the place. That's what they're there for. You know, no one cares that they're gone forever. No one cares. It, just makes, it will make infinite. I don't know how many trucks this thing will make until the game breaks because you hit vehicle limit, probably. You know? So let that do that. This has a fixed number of trucks. Don't let, that do, don't let this do that. All right? So that's connectivity. You need to have connectivity. If you do that and you stagger and, you know, you just try to be mindful of, uh, of keeping things balanced in terms of how many pro extractors you're, you're using, you'll run smooth as ice. Number five. Okay, so number five has to deal with the specialized industry. So the, the specialized industry does not play well with the uh, industry's DLC when they're far apart. When they're close, so like if you want some flavor because you like some of those buildings, you know, you could go ahead and, and just go ahead and, and do the whole, you know, let's zone this up. Right. Oh, I got a symbol. Look at me. On camera, what are you doing? What are you doing there, furniture factory? Plain timber. Well, we'll get you some. I think he's, it's a mistake to have him here because the plain timber is actually probably coming from here, all the way to here, and it's it's not not fun. Like I would think that it would come from. Once again, you would think that it would come from like here, but I made the mistake. No, don't think that. Don't put this here, because <laughs> the, the truck that's going to serve him is probably coming from here, or wherever the plain timber one is. It's not going to come from here to here. Anyway, back to the, back to the. The, the main show here so if you wanted to do something like this you know and, and make this that and then zone some of these buildings in here because you like like i said the flavor that'll work pretty good i think that would look good and it and i you know i've done it in some other cities and it, it'll play well because what, what happens when they're far apart so this happened to me on this city even though i've been playing this game for i don't know forever it feels like and i had and even you still see it <laughs> i didn't remove the zone to the old uh forest street uh, specialization in here because this was the original tile this is the original highway connection and um, you know this was like the original indus industrial area and I had started I you know unlocked these tiles and I knew I was gonna make this you know my industry's DLC area because I had all the resources and everything and I started you know, building this thing up this guy up here and I noticed like he had like it was like a sawmill or something over here had like a symbol and I was like, what's going on? Because, like I said, I've been building this for a while. You know, I kind of understand what's going on and, and why I shouldn't really have many. You know, I kind of expect a few symbols here and there when I'm running at 150. Just because you're just chomping through stuff so quick. 
But, you know, when you're first starting off and it's things like level 2, you shouldn't have any symbols at all. Like, for a long time. But it had symbols, so I'm like, what's going on? So I could kind of zoomed out, and then I looked down, and like, this, you know, there was a building in here that had a symbol, too. Because the this specialized industry, so once again, that's, that's CCI's down here. They have all the buildings that your industry DLC has. They have the extractors, the storage, processors, the warehouses, and unique factories. Like the, they have like the furniture factory and all that. And when I looked down here, I knew exactly what it was once I saw it. I was like, oh, duh, I forgot to dezone de this. And what happened was, you know, a sawmill here or the furniture factory over here needed some plain timber or needed some, you know, forestry, you know, raw forestry product. So he called and then, you know, he said, hey, city, I need some, I need some forestry stuff. And then the, you know, the storage unit over here said, hey, I got some, let me drive it to you. And they drove and they took a while because they had to drive all the way through this. I didn't have the rail at the time. They drove all the way down the highway, way up there, and they came down here, you know, and then they, it took them too long. And at the same token, this guy said, hey, you know, I need some like raw forestry stuff to make some more plain timber. And then... Who answered the call? The storage unit in here, or or whatever. And he said, "Okay, I'm going to drive over here." So they were like cross-contaminating. Like this guy was sending, you know, products to the sawmill over here, and this guy was sending, you know, stuff to the sawmill hill here. And it was just taking too long because, you know, like like Ted, he knows Steve. So like when you know Steve was driving this way, and then Ted was going this way, coming this way, they like met over here in the middle and pulled over. He talked about the kids and they had like lunch and stuff, and they just took too long. And then they, these guys burned through their stuff. And they said, I ain't got, I ain't got no products. I'm not, not enough resource. So the specialized, so I would encourage you to dezone, like if you started off with the specialized industry, dezone it, just, just get rid of it. If it's not close, like I said, if it's in here, like if it's the forestry specialization and it's in like your forestry area, then it's fine. Cause you know, then if, you know, Ted needs to take stuff and then Steve needs to take stuff to the other place, they just, you know, they just drive right down the street, come back, right? You just don't want them to be like two tiles over or a tile over or have to drive through. Looks like maybe four tiles. One, two, three, four-ish, five tiles. You don't want them to have to drive five tiles to get there. You know, because it's going to be, it takes too long. Then they're going to have the symbols. So that's the industry specialization. So you might have that problem. If you have a lot of industry specialization and they're far away, no. I, I would just recommend zone it for looks. You know, if you like, like I said, you like some of those, you want to put a couple of those like farm type buildings in here. Yeah, do it. You know, zone it in here for some luck. You know, put a couple in here and here. Don't make it too big. And then just let your industry's DLC supply all, all your, you know, products that you need for your city. And export if you want to export. It's easier to control. Um, the last thing. So the last thing is vehicle limit. So I've seen this relatively recently. And I see this a lot of, from people who are trying to probably push the industry's DLC kind of like to the max and they have like man I saw one he had literally oh geez he had like 35 of the big like oil pumps I was like aghast but you know hey if it works for, for them it works for them they had like 35 of these monsters is chugging away and I've seen people have like the big stuff, like this 20s and 30s of them. And I mean, maybe it's a, maybe they have a 500,000 city and maybe that's, you know, it works. But I think I asked it and it's now, nah, you only had like a hundred, he had like, I think 70, 60,000 civilian cities, citizens, and all that stuff. And I was like, geez, man. And it's like, no, nah, that's not the problem. I've done this. And he had a rail and stuff so I can see it if you know and he has storage so you know in, in the warehouses so it, it can work if you want to push it you just got to make sure you have the right buffering and he, and he had good access to the to the rail so it, you know it was able to kind of get off get out and get on rail and get out but what happened was it hit the vehicle limit because you know these things put out a lot of trucks you know if you have like 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 that guy did like 30 of these monster pumps pumping away you know, with eight freight trucks each, and then you fill up your storage because you didn't put down enough storage because you're just cranking out so much raw material and, you know, your processors can't, you know, eat it all. And I don't know why he had that because you're not making any money doing it anyway. Making money, you need to make the, the money. I have the other videos, it goes into the math. You make money by pushing your unique factories. You make a, a hundred dollars a ton. 
these things make like five dollars a ton so you're just honestly you're, you're you're pissing money away when you're doing it through here you should never in my humble opinion you should never you should do your best we'll say to not export raw material and to some extent processed material this processed material is probably like in the twenty dollars a ton and because it's different for each material we'll say for each dlc piece like oil's the most profitable farming is the least profitable you know and then order is more profitable than uh for forestry and forestry so it's farming if we're getting into deep now but it's farming forestry or and oil in terms of least profitable to most profitable in terms of how much money you get per ton for raw materials versus process versus unique factories but the unique factories make a hundred dollars a ton so if you want to make money you push them to 150 and you want to not export at all on the raw resource or very or very little you know because you, you, know, you can't it's not you can't be perfect let's, let's admit to that or you know once again on the warehouses with your process you don't want to really export a lot of process goods you would rather have that be consumed by your unique factories and let them export the, all that this goes out and then make tons of money i've made over 300 and over 300,000 a week just pushing these things you can do it you know uh, well you can say 446 million I and mean, it's not that hard well maybe it is hard i don't know i don't know i don't know if it's hard or not but the point being is i don't even remember what the point was <laughs> what was the point here you guys t type in the comment vehicle in it so you know this thing if you got 30 of these things it's 30 times eight right i don't know what that number is but it's high i got a calculator in my hand let's just do the math i got you on here long enough what's a few more minutes right 30 times eight it's 240 trucks and then maybe they have a bunch of warehouses maybe they have a bunch of you know a handful of these guys but they're not keeping up and they're, they actually have, have a lot of trucks. They have, I think the, the, the highest one has 40, 40 or 50. I think it's 40. You know, maybe you have a bunch of these. So maybe he had, you know, and if you're watching, I'm not picking on you. This is an example. I'm not giving your name out. So, but this has like 20 freight trucks. So maybe he's exporting and he's got like five of these exports. There's another 100 trucks, you know, and, and then maybe your processors are sending out a bunch of trucks. So you could have hundreds of trucks just out and about and driving around. You know, because and then you're hitting the vehicle limit, and then that, and then then the trucks aren't coming out because the vehicle limit hit. So you you might look at like some of your storage or your warehouses and your all their stuff, and you might see not all the trucks being used. And you're like, what's going on? But it's filled up. It's because you hit the vehicle limit, so I can't like actually physically, I guess, generate the the truck. So that's your problem. So just and that kind of ties into earlier when I was saying, you know, you don't want to put down a huge amount of like stuff. Like warehouses and storage units, you kind of want to balance it. Like I said, well, I got three small ones here, and it's running pretty good. I mean, you wouldn't, you don't put like ten of these because you might hit the vehicle limit, you know. And especially if you do put ten of these and you do that over four different DLC, you know, different ones. That's 40, 40 storage units with you know ten trucks. These four hundred trucks. That's a lot of trucks on the road. It might probably clog up all your roads, right? Even if you had the train here, you know, it might be a lot of vehicles getting on here. You know, some of them might be taking the highway. So just be mindful of that. So I'll do a re quick recap. I know this is a long, sorry, this is like turned into a full hour episode here. So number one, and of course I'll put it on the screen as well as, as I always say it with my voice. Uh, for, number one problem is you synchronize your industry. You put everything down when the game was paused and you let it rip. And you can do that, just, just turn off most of the assets first. <laughs> and it's only turn one or two on at a time. If you go back to my other videos, I think I describe how to actually start your industry and build it. Uh, I'd say appropriately so that you avoid a lot of these issues to, from the start. Um, number two could be over extraction, which can also be synonymous with under storage, you know, because they're like hand in hand. So you put down too many like large crops or, you know, like that one guy did all huge large oil drills and you don't have enough storage and then they got to export. You know, you fill up your storage, you get on that whole problem. And number three is overproduction. So it's kind of like the same thing, but you put down too many processors and you fill up your warehouses. And then your warehouses blow up. So that's not good. Which means also not enough warehouses. So less processors or and or more warehouses. But once again, I challenge myself on this map to do it with just one set of, you know, medium. And it's fine. I don't know if I can push it to 150. 
It might it might break. Eh, it probably wouldn't break, but it might it might get more symbols. Uh, the, the fourth thing, poor connectivity. So you know, make sure you have access to rail. You know, the cargo or like the cargo harbor. You know, the hub or the you know cargo airport hub or cargo airport. You know, something that's close by that these trucks can drive to and get it off the truck. Because the important thing is reduce the windshield time on these trucks. Get the the product off the truck so they can go back home and do the thing they need to do. You don't want them driving all over the world because it takes too long and then all the trucks are out doing, doing you no good, really. That's when your thing starts breaking. Which, you know, and then all these tips, of course, assume you have good traffic. You know, you did everything else right in your city, we'll say, because you could break a whole bunch of other slew of things that's not necessarily industry DLC specific but then causes your industry cl dlc to break because you did some stuff like you know you didn't build a good net cargo network and you your traffic your highways are all clogged up and they're all in one line or some goofy thing like that because you don't have to do traffic right so you know this assumes your city the rest of your city is running pretty well all these tips which i probably should have said at the beginning sorry uh, last, next thing is uh, specialized zones. So, you know, just be mindful. The industry's DLC does not play well with the specialized zones if they're far apart because they'll send trucks back and forth between each other. It's almost as bad as like importing or exporting, but it's just not quite as far. And once again, it could work if you had like rail, you know, so that way, like if like all this area was like a farming industry specialization and I had like the cargo train here and then they could put it on the train and the train could kind of like come over here. And deliver some stuff and they could drive here and vice versa they could drive here and, and, and take the train back yeah you know, it could work so that goes like, kind of like the connectivity thing so i don't want to say you know it can't work it's just you know you, you just need to be mindful that you just don't want them driving all over the place to get here and then driving all because they will send things back and forth even though the thing is right here okay you just gotta remember and maybe on on pc there's a mod that will help say this you know engineered wood plant when it makes the phone call that this guy picks up the phone faster than the guy in the industry, you know, in the specialized forestry zone over here and answers the call first. So, so maybe on PC that works, but I'm on PlayStation. So I ain't got that luxury. So just be mindful that when he makes a phone call, anybody in the city, just assume, <laughs> I always say, just assume when he makes a phone call and he needs more raw forest products, that anything that has raw forest products in your whole entire city can provide that can answer the call and go, yep, I got it. All right, bring it. And that guy could be way over here, you know, all the way over. This guy could be over here, or he could be right next door. And uh, who knows? It might be a coin toss. Who gets it? Maybe it's a higher probability if it's closer, but maybe not. I don't know. And then the last thing is the vehicle limit. If you put down a bunch of stuff, especially on the big cities, you got real big cities, like half a million, million, million citizen city, you know, you might hit vehicle limit pretty quickly if you put down a bunch of. You know, a lot, a lot of things. So just be mindful of, of that. That's it. I think that's it. Um, thank you for, once again, thanks for sticking on. If you did, uh, leave a like if you found this helpful. Uh, hopefully this was very detailed, very informative, because that's what I was going for, because this is very complicated, and it's a problem I see constantly. Constantly. Every, at least, today I saw it twice on Reddit. And there's not that many people who post this to Skylash Reddit, so... It, you know, I see this a lot. Uh, so I'm hoping this is detailed enough, gives you some ammunition, you know, some tools in your tool belt, so to speak, to get your industry's DLC straightened out so that you can make tons of money and have a very satisfying, happy feeling of you balance the supply chain and everything's kind of working real nice. And you can sit back, drink, a, drink your favorite beverage, eat your favorite sandwich, and just watch it run. Um, uh, like I said, leave a like uh, or, you know, subscribe. Got plenty of content and some let's plays and all that stuff. I'm also on Twitch at New Build Cities. Just smash my name all together and you can find me there. So, you know, if you have questions about this, you know, can you continue the conversation or just want to watch me build other cities and chit chat? I mean, I encourage you. I love talking to folks while I just build things and I like taking suggestions and doing all kinds of stuff and helping people out and they help me out because I'm definitely not the best at playing this game. So, I appreciate that as well. And I guess that's it. And I'll leave you with um, thank you very much and happy building.